Once it's all filled out, we're going to move on to optimization in the top left corner and specify our system target, whether it be system size or system production. Then I'm going to select create portfolio and enter in my minimum and maximum ground coverage ratio and my racking type. This can be single axis or fixed tilt. Uh, for single axis tracker, we have an additional option past user defined of selecting either array technologies or next tracker. Below you want to define your tracker. So the total number of modules, the string length and the row quantity. You can also select tracker length. So because we have a string length of 30 and a, a total modules of 90, it knows what my tracker lengths are. And again, we can add additional trackers here. So if we're considering more than one racking, we can add that. Once I'm set, I'm going to calculate all my different configurations to optimize my project. Here we can see all of our different possible configurations according to GCR, racking type, module type, system size, and system production. Um, in the top, we can see a graph here that plots all of these different configurations considering the GCR, systems, system size, and system production, so we can see how these different configurations directly stack up next to each other. Once you pick a configuration that you want to move forward with, you have three options to view the layout, create the report, and export it to PVCAD. Mm -hmm.